We've been a leader in banking for more than 100 years. You'll find us here, at home, on your phone, and everywhere you go. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Hello and welcome to Newsbreak for Wednesday, March 1st. I'm your host, Chris Kiefer. Remember, you can catch Newsbreak each weekday at 7 a.m. Watch it at djournal.com, Facebook, YouTube, or the Daily Journal's mobile apps for Apple or Android devices. Let's go now to your weather underground forecast. Today, thunderstorms are likely with a high of 73 and a low of 39. We're looking at an 80% chance of rain. And after that, it's gonna clear up. Thursday, clear skies with a high of 61 and a low of 36, 0% chance of rain. Friday, clear skies, high of 61 and a low of 33, 0% chance of rain. And the same for Saturday, clear skies with a high of 66 and a low of 44, and again, 0% chance of rain. Now let's go to your top headlines for today. The Okalona School District will be merged with the Houston and Chickasaw County School Districts under legislation that passed the House Education Committee on Tuesday. The bill passed the Senate earlier this session and it consolidated the Houston and Chickasaw County Districts while leaving Okalona as a freestanding district. This was mainly because part of the Okalona District stretches over into Monroe County. Senate Education Chair Gray Tallison of Oxford has said that would create additional problems. But Representative Toby Barker of Hattiesburg, who chairs the subcommittee that oversees school district consolidation, said Tuesday it didn't make sense to merge Houston and Chickasaw but leave out Okalona. Under the House proposal, the section of Monroe County and the Okalona School District would become part of the Chickasaw Consolidated School District with a central office in Houston. The merger would become effective July 1, 2020. The bill will now be considered by the full House and most likely will end up in conference committee where House and Senate leaders will try to work out the differences between the two chambers. Teachers and administrators at Tupelo's Carver Elementary School believe student wellness should be an important goal both at school and at home. So the school hosted a PE for Parents night on Monday to help involve parents in the effort. Parents who attended on Monday got to learn about things their children have been doing at school. They also received tips for helping them develop healthy routines at home. That includes doing things like sending healthy snacks and lunches to school and ensuring students are getting enough sleep on school nights. Parents and students also played games and exercised with each other. This is the third time Carver has hosted a PE for Parents night. Principal Christy Carroll said the hope is that by involving parents, students will more easily incorporate healthy habits into their routines. Tupelo leaders continue to hold talks with local agencies, nonprofits, and faith leaders over fresh efforts to aid the city's homeless population. Specifically, Mayor Shelton's administration is considering a formal partnership with Mississippi United to End Homelessness, or MUTE. Shelton and Chief Operations Officer Don Lewis held a meeting on Tuesday with local agencies and organizations that already seek to assist homeless persons in Tupelo. They hope these groups will be able to help defray the cost of a partnership with MUTE. MUTE is a lead agency in the state receiving funds from the Federal Housing and Urban Development Department. If an agreement is reached, MUTE staff members would directly seek out homeless persons in Tupelo and try to connect them with appropriate services. The current proposal is to start with a six-month contract that would cost about $23,000. And in sports, the MHSAA State Basketball Tournament resumes today, moving to Jackson for the quarterfinal round. There are 22 teams from Northeast Mississippi still in the mix, and that includes the Wheeler Eagles. This is the first time since 1994 that the Wheeler Boys team has reached Jackson. It will take on Leake County at 9 a.m. today in Class 1A. The Eagles, coached by Mitch Howell, enter the game with a 28-3 and record. They have a balanced offensive attack with five players averaging double figures in scoring. Jalen Bean leads the way with 16.5 points per game. Other area boys teams in action today include Shannon, Ripley, Ashland, and Holka. Ashland is the reigning 1A state champion. The girls get cranked up Thursday and other quarterfinal games for boys and girls will be played Friday and Saturday. Among the girls teams in Jackson are defending 2A state champ Ingemar and defending 3A champ Boonville.
Both Tupelo squads will hit the court on Saturday. And before we close, we remind you to check out the many multimedia offerings at the Daily Journal, like Prep Rally, a podcast featuring Brad Locke, Gene Phelps, and Blake Morgan. Uh, this week they went a day early on Tuesday and talked a lot more about those state basketball uh, championships. You can catch that in iTunes on podcast apps or at preprally.djournal.com. That's all we have for today, and we remind you to also check out all the stories you heard about today uh, in your daily journal or at djournal.com. Follow us on Twitter at Daily Journal Now and check out our Facebook page. Thank you and have a great day.